morning, happy Monday. I am going to start the day by fixing something I've done last night. Uh, usually I edit the daily vlogs on the same day in the evening before I go to bed and I schedule them to go live the next day. And last night I um, unintentionally deleted the daily vlog once it was all finished instead of uploading it. So I need to do it again basically. So I'm going to do that and then I'll get the day started properly again. <laughs> Okay, it might not look like it from the way I look, but um, I've been super busy so far. It's quarter to ten and I've had quite a productive morning. So far the leggings are going really well and that's what's keeping me busy, which is a good thing. Um, so I need to do a little bit of work on my computer and then uh, I'm going to Skype my best friend um, and then I will do more things, which I can't think about yet, but I have a lot of things to do today. Um, so yeah, let's do some more work. So I'm just having another um, universe <laughs> conversation with my best friend Sam. Um, kind of believe sometimes the universe plays tricks on us and trying to make life difficult, but usually something good comes out of it. But you just don't know it yet whenever it's happening. So, um, last week I ordered all the shopping in one go as we usually do. And I had done some meal plans and then I just didn't have time to make all the recipes. Because I only planned recipes that were taking ages to make. The result is that I'm having to throw out some meat I bought because it's out of date and I didn't realize. And I hate to waste food so much. So for the next week I've decided that the ad it's not super busy as it is right now, but it might become very busy. I uh, don't want to take the risk of ordering a full week's worth of fresh ingredients for shopping. So James is going to go and get uh, what we need for the next few days in terms of fresh stuff. And um, we will do the same later on in the week probably. And. Um, is taking a shower right now so I'm with the monkeys I have a big monkey beside me on the couch and there's a little monkey over here playing on the ground <laughs> the thing is playing with in case you're wondering it's um, a good tip if you have a small child who likes crinkly toys it's actually a safety blanket do you know the ones you can have uh, it's like a it looks like a big foil thing <laughs> If you cut a piece, it's like a crinkly paper. Obviously, you just want to keep an eye on your child because it's not really made for that purpose. So it can tear in small pieces and you don't really want them to eat them. But if you give them a big enough piece, he can play with that for quite some time. Oh, <laughs> I'm 
trying to sit up by himself, but he's getting frustrated because he keeps falling down. Yeah. So we've propped him up with some pillows around him. There you go. Oh, this no. is still quite wobbly. Oh no, what? What? Is it running? Come back up, baby shark. <laughs> Wobbla! <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. You're in a little bed. Be glad when he can properly sit up because he can play better. I <laughs> wanted to do blankets. He needs to sleep. He needs to sleep. Come Let's on, we pouty. No, he needs a blanket. I feel loves to bounce so much that every time we put him with his feet in contact with anything, it just goes crazy. Can you see? <laughs> You love to bounce, baby? You're gonna kill your daddy like that, you know that? Yes. <laughs> oh, this was tiring when you were two months old and now you're close to five. Tomorrow is five. Oh. Tomorrow you're five months old. Happy five months old, baby. <sighs> I'll keep you fit. <laughs> Who needs a gym? Yeah. I am in Alfie's room now and uh Although I feel like I have done that not that long ago, I am about to go through his clothes and remove everything that either is too summery or too small and either put it in the bag to give to charity or to give to a friend if it can do and put the bigger clothes into his wardrobe to just free some space. Right now I have <laughs> baskets of clothes sitting beside me either just because they've been just washed or because they are bigger clothes that I've put in boxes not that long ago that need to come out into his um, little chest of drawer. So first I'm going to empty it to make some room and then I will fill it again basically. Okay, we're getting there. So here we have that bag is uh, things I want to put in Alfie's memory box that I'm going to make for him later on. So in the meantime I'm just putting them in there. It's like all birth cards and christening cards and all that. Those are all toys that he can't play with just yet. These are clothes for the next size up. Uh, these are shoes that are all too big. These are all boxes of uh, like baby monitor and things like that. These are clothes that are too big. This is a bag with clothes that I'm saving. They are gender neutral clothes that I'm saving for a friend who doesn't know yet who what she's having. This is all like rain covers, baby carriers and all this kind of things. In that box down there and that bag it's all things that um, I eventually want to keep and bring in the attic but I'm filling up a pin big bag so I'm going to wait until it's full to bring it up so in the meantime I'm just putting everything in that box. And there here we have uh, vests, pajamas, a few t-shirts with short sleeve. it doesn't really wear them anymore at the moment bibs, hats and scarves and all socks. And here we have uh, jumpers over there. These are all little dungarees. Uh, long sleeve t-shirts, some jeans, more long sleeve t-shirts, leggings and comfy trousers like tracksuits and things like that. And the last one has all the sleeping bags. This is um, with a little coat and there's a snowsuit underneath, muslin cloth and little blankets at the back. Here we have this basket is all to go to charity these nappies and this basket there is to give to a friend who's having a little boy in october so that's me all done for now i just need to bag all these things there to bring them to the charity shop and to my friends here i've put the shoes that uh fit out here well these ones don't fit yet but they will fit soon but the other ones all fit it doesn't really wear shoes at the moment because it's a bit warm but i uh, probably put some tonight um, actually to go to the party look did you pick those socks yeah okay do you want to pick a jumper now <laughs> okay so you can have this one which is like this or you can have this one <laughs> or you can have this one or you can have 
This one. The grey one? This one? Okay, so we're gonna get a wedding dress because where are you going tonight? To Granny Party! Yay! It's Granny Party today. It's Granny's party today, yeah. But we can't see you, she hiding like that. Huh? <laughs> we can't see you. What? <laughs> Will we get dressed now? What? What is Granny Party today? Because it's her, sp it's her birthday today. This is when all dressed now. And now he's going to bring his jumper down the stairs so we can bring it with us when we go. And he can go back down. I'm off to get a shower now um, and get ready to go to James's mom's party at her house. Um, I have literally not much time because we need to be there in less than an hour. Luckily they only live 10 minutes away but I need to hurry up. So I'll go in the shower now. Bye! Before I finish to get ready, um, I had to tell you something. This day last year, exactly one year ago, and I remember just because it's James's mom's birthday, um, I was pregnant with Alfie, but I hadn't had my scan yet, so nobody knew in James's family yet. And um, I just didn't want to say until the scan was there and I knew everything was fine. And uh, I was feeling so sick, it was ridiculous. The whole day I was just being sick all day and thinking I would never make it to the party. I eventually did and I pretended I wanted to stay outside to mind the children who were playing in the garden just to be able to stay in the fresh air because otherwise I would just... the smell of food was making me sick and they were cooking in the kitchen. And um, I'm definitely not pregnant, there is no chance about it, but a year later exactly and I feel really sick. <laughs> um, I think it's just because I haven't eaten enough or drunk enough today. Um, it's probably just it. Uh, I kind of tend to just have a snack. I had a late breakfast basically and then I wasn't hungry enough for lunch. So then I had more like a snacky kind of lunch and that's it. And I'm just needing food. But we're off to a party now where there will be food. So I will just eat there and... Hopefully after that, that will be it. But yeah, that was my little uh, memory from a year ago. So I just blow dry my hair, even if I absolutely hate to use heat on my hair in general. My hair uh, routine is just uh, let it dry, basically. And whatever happens, happens. You know that way sometimes you can put the mascara on in your eye and hurt yourself? That just happened. That's better. I look very pale on this, on this light. Um, I'm now ready to go and um, probably won't film uh, much over there because there is a lot of family there but uh, if I can get little clips I will insert them after there and I will talk to you when we are back. Bye! We are back home and it's now 10 to 11 um, and I'm going to edit today's vlog. Owen is now in bed and Alfie is over here being a wriggly worm. He did sleep um, over there during the party so he's just having his milk and probably feeling his nappy and um, then he will be hopefully back to sleep for a good while before he wakes up again in the night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop the vlog here and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!